back into it. Now, it has a little bit different screen than because it goes back to this screen, right? Because we're in that 30-day trial. But if I go back on over here uh, and, I, and I say I put it in this folder, I think. So I'm going to locate it, say, where did I put it? I highly recommend, especially with your actual company file, that you know where the company file is on your computer, right? I, 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 I could find it if I needed to, right? So there it is. Notice it put this other junk in here. I didn't have anything in this folder and it put all this other kind of stuff in there. That's why you don't want it cluttered up with your documents folder or on the desktop because it starts to clutter things up, even though I just have one company file in here and this is the main company file. Now, when I open the file, then I, when I open this up again at a later point, for example, I could go in here and double click this file and it should open up the software and then the file, but that's not typically the way most people will do it. Most people will, will then open up the, the, the program, which is fine. It's probably the, the way to do it. And I think you could still like click on this one and this thing, I want to see the sample and it will open up the sample, which is kind of not exactly what, what you want when you practice. Like if I wanted to open up another sample company file, what you need to do is actually move this sample company file somewhere else so that QuickBooks doesn't remember where it is and then you should be able to download another sample company file, right? But maybe we'll touch in on that later. But right now I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm ready to create my own. No, I'm not gonna create my own. I want to open an existing company file, the one that we just downloaded. So I'm gonna go to that one, existing company file. It's in my folder, there it is. So I'm gonna double click on it. Boom, open it up, porf avor, you're opening. I know, I've seen that, you told me last time I still know where I'm at here. And so there it is. And then my normal setup process when I open this up is I like having the home page open. I like going to the view drop down and I get rid of uh, the top of the screen. And then uh, actually I don't wanna have that there at all. So I'm gonna say hide icon bar. And then I say view open windows. So I can see the windows on the right and that's kind of like my setup process which i will do uh basically every time and then we can see that uh I'll, that if i go into my my data i can close let, let me close this window out it's not letting me close the window out okay so there we go i'm going to close i'm going to close this window out i'm going to maximize this window and then i'm going to toggle notice i can toggle back and forth i have this super zoomed in by going to my actual monitor size if i went back to 100 it looks like this which is very small uh, uh to see here so that's why if i zoom in i think 125 to me is is probably a a good zoom in to kind of be working in but for for us to use it i'm going to go at 150 which will really zoom in, although it could kind of distort things. So, so if things are a little distorted when you do a super zoom in, then you can adjust and zoom back down. Okay, so, and just note that if I go into the uh, lists drop down, for example, and we look at our chart of accounts up top, we have our data in the chart of accounts already. If I go to my standard reports and go to reports and company file, profit and loss and notice it's making it as of 1231 uh or at the end of 2026 i'm going to start to put the actual data in next year where there's not any information in it so for example if i go to reports here company file profit and loss it's doing it for the year of 2026 i don't know why it, well what it's doing it's trying to pick a day like in the future i guess and work in the future and I think the rationale for that is, is that they can use the same sample company file without having to update it all the way out to 20, to 26, right? What I'd like to do when we do our practice problem is look at an income statement at least that doesn't have any data in it yet. So I'm gonna go from 010127 to 123127 and you can see now we have a clean income statement. And when we do our practice problem, I'll just uh, work with this uh, income statement. So next time, what we're going to do is uh, 
list out basically the issue in terms of this prepayment issue by looking at the home page and then thinking about what the normal process is, what's the issue with the prepayment, and then we'll go through the actual normal process and compare that then to uh, the old deposit or prepayment way that we used to deal with this and the way you might still deal with it if you didn't have enterprise. And then we'll go through the new updated prepayment feature, which has, a, which has that liability account that uh, will be set up. So we'll continue on with this in future presentations now that we're set up with the sample company.